this is math 141. This is practice test uh, number one, and this is problem number seven. We're supposed to find, uh, the directions say find the polynomial that has these zeros. You should say a polynomial because there's, there's an infinite number, but we're just going to find the simplest case. So if these are zeros, this two would have come from uh, factor x minus two, or it could have. Uh, this x minus two could have come from x plus two, this five x minus 5. And those are just the simplest cases. So then I'm just going to multiply it out. I can multiply these out in any order I want. Uh, in these types of problems, I like to look for difference of squares. They, they make the multiplication easier. Um, so notice on this one, the middle term drops out. So this is just x squared minus 4. And that is getting multiplied by x minus 5 still. So let me do that multiplication. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 5, negative 5x five squared. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. So there is a polynomial that has those zeros. You know, um, you can check your answer pretty easily. You can, you can take your polynomial and put it back into a graphing calculator and just see if the zeros really happen there. So if you're not, you know, if you have a little time to kill while you're taking the test or you feel like uh, you're really not uh, sure if you're there or not, why not check it? So take, boy, that's a mess. So take the uh, take the equation they got. So we got five, uh, x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 20. Graph it, and you can see the zeros there that you uh, are supposed to have, so you know that your answer is correct.